I'm Walter Feit. Just a little bit about my background. I used to be an evolutionist, professor of zoology. We are honored and delighted to have Dr. Veith with us as a speaker. Um, for those of you who do not know Dr. Veith, he is a world-renowned scientist, lecturer, and author. He has a doctorate in zoology and has authored a number of books. Dr. Veith has lectured to standing room only crowds around the world um, on findings in science, nutrition, and disease. Diabetes, this is an interesting one. Insulin-dependent diabetes, that's type 1 diabetes, or childhood onset, is linked to dairy products. Cow's milk linked to diabetes. In Lancet Medical Journal, in 1999, they found that new evidence published Friday adds weight to a controversial theory that feeding cow's milk to babies may cause them to develop diabetes in later life, the Lancet Medical Journal said. Cow a young age at introduction of dairy products and a high milk consumption during childhood may increase a child's risk of developing juvenile diabetes, the journal Diabetologia, 1994. So how come it causes diabetes? What was the theory behind that? Again, it's linked to the protein. This protein, casein, is very poorly digested, which means that it only breaks down into little bigger chunks. You get energy from it because parts of it are digested, but the pieces sometimes get translocated and end up in the blood as pieces. Now, all of a sudden, the body recognizes an abnormal protein. And it just so happens that cow's casein has an amino acid sequence in one part of the molecule which is very similar to the amino acid sequence on the beta cells of the pancreas. So what happens is, when the body recognizes the strange protein, it makes an antibody. And that antibody, if that sequence of amino acids happens to be present in that piece that's in the blood, is an antibody to that amino acid sequence. And then that same antibody attacks your own beta cells and destroys your pancreas. And then you have diabetes type 1, and you have no more insulin producing cells, and then you have diabetes type 1. And then the only solution is to take insulin for the rest of your life. Now, there was a lot of controversy about this because Japanese babies sometimes develop diabetes type 1, even though they never got cow's milk, they only got mother's milk. And so the, this idea was rejected for a long, long time, until scientists found something very exciting. They found that the Japanese babies that had diabetes type 1 were from mothers who had been subjected to the United States diet. They'd lived in America for a while, and they were using dairy. So they analyzed the mother's milk, and guess what they found in the mother's milk? Cow casein. Why? Because the mother wasn't digesting the cow casein properly. It was also translocated partially into their bloodstream. The body gets rid of it, and a gland throwing things out is a convenient place of getting rid of it. The baby was getting cow casein and making antibodies because it couldn't deal with it. And that's where diabetes 1 came from. So the theory today is pretty well confirmed. Early cow milk exposure may increase juvenile diabetes risk by 1.5 times. Early studies already showed this. Diabetes does not occur in diabetes-prone rodents reared on a diet free of cow's milk for the first two or three months of life, indicating that cow's milk protein can trigger the disease. The New England Journal of Medicine reported that in 1992 already. They've known this for years. And only now is it slowly filtering through to the medical world that this is actually the problem. Researchers from Rome and London said they studied 47 patients who had recently developed insulin-dependent di diabetes and found that 51% of them had immune cells that grew and replicated when exposed to a protein called beta-casein, comes from cows. 
found in cow's milk. Only 2.7% of healthy people in a control group had immune cells that reacted to the cow's milk protein. So there you have it. Casein seems to be the problem.